hey everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well today's video is another monthly favorites and what's new in my wardrobe but i'm going to film it the opposite way to how i usually do whereas i would usually chat through kind of skincare makeup hair care favorites first and then move on to what's new in my wardrobe I'm gonna kind of flip it and show you the new fashion pieces first because I've got quite a few fashion pieces to show you here that I think you're going to love. Um, as usual, everything featured will be linked below in the description box. Any questions, leave a comment. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And by the way, apologies if the lighting keeps changing. One minute it's like super sunny and then the next it's like gray and cloudy and I'm sitting in front of a window. So it's just, it's just chopping and changing a little bit. So apologies for that. Um, but I am going to start off with this gorgeous cord from Hobbs. And I am working with Hobbs on part of this video. And Hobbs just do the most beautiful quality timeless pieces and i've just got a few bits to show you here but these are just incredible quality pieces really lovely they're from their limited edition collection as well um and just perfect pieces for autumn so like i said first up is this gorgeous cohort and obviously these pieces can be styled separately as well they would look amazing style separately but also look gorgeous style together as well so first up it is a roll neck jumper in a wool and cotton blend i'm pretty sure that this is 50 or 55 percent wool i will just double check the fabric yes yeah, 55 percent wool and 45 percent cotton really beautiful quality and the neck bit is kind of like in a ribbed fabric and so are the sleeves it's got like a ribbed panel just going down the side and it just feels really really lovely on i like the fact that it's not too thick as well sometimes with roll necks they can be a bit too chunky and you can't really wear coats over the top of them coming into autumn winter whereas this is perfect you've got the warmth of a roll neck with the wool but without it being too chunky um beautiful beige obviously a bit of me um but i would just wear this jumper with a pair of jeans with some leather trousers with my maternity leggings at the moment whilst i'm still pregnant um but equally it looks gorgeous styled together with the matching skirt and again this isn't exactly the same fabric so it's got the ribbed detail at the side as well i will insert a close-up because obviously the sun isn't isn't helping um but it's got the ribbed detail running down the side elasticated waist waistband and the good thing about this for me personally is i've been trying to kind of whilst i've been pregnant i've been trying to go for items that i can wear whilst pregnant with bump but also can wear afterwards as well so this is perfect because it kind of at the moment it sits just above bump and stretches over the top but then afterwards i did order i think i ordered a size small in the skirt yeah a uk8 um and afterwards it will still fit me perfectly as well so i think that's a good thing rather than going for maternity items that i will only be able to wear for a couple of months um, these items fit me at the moment but will also fit afterwards as well and this would be great just styled with a t-shirt and a blazer over the top or a leather jacket it would look great with boots like knee-high boots underneath or trainers i think there's so many ways that i will style this cord and it's just beautiful really lovely quality a really lovely kind of like staple cord for autumn winter and then the other piece that i ordered from hobbs which is also from their limited edition collection is this beautiful coat and i feel like the camera really is not doing this justice this is absolutely stunning the fabric of this the quality the feel of this is just gorgeous um so if i hold it a little bit closer you can see it's in this gorgeous rich brown checked print just very kind of like classic timeless fabric um and i also love how this looks styled over the top of the cord as well i feel like this with the cord maybe like some tan accessories for that really like rich autumnal look is going to be perfect a little bit warm for this at the moment but just around the corner i can see myself styling this so much throughout autumn winter i love the style of the double breasted it's also got a belt as well so you can cinch it in it looks really lovely like cinched in but equally will look lovely like worn open look great with jeans and trainers like dressed down a little bit um but again would look lovely just up an evening with a black dress underneath i mean it's just one of those really beautiful timeless styles a very kind of like classic 
yeah just a gorgeous coat love this so much i ordered this in a size eight obviously at the moment i can't do it up over bump but I haven't got long left of bump so as we come into autumn winter and the temperature gets cooler this should fit me perfectly hopefully um and yeah just a really really gorgeous coat so i will of course leave this linked below the cord will also be linked below from hobbs and they've just got some really beautiful autumnal pieces in their um, limited edition collection in on the website in general anyway but they've just got some really lovely pieces sticking with fashion and next up is this gorgeous dress from Abercrombie and if you watch my vlogs you probably have already seen me show you this before but I thought I'd quickly show it in this video just because it's one of my favourite new in fashion pieces this month. Obviously, I've still got the tags on. I haven't worn it yet. I only got it last week. Um, but I just love it. And I know that I will wear this so much throughout autumn winter because it is so soft. It's so comfortable. Again, perfect with bump underneath it, but also equally perfect afterwards as well and it's just a really lovely style of dress and I know that when I've had dresses like this in the past previous years I think I've got one from a similar-ish one from and other stories and I feel like so many of you asked me about that but it's sold out and then I just I've had similar ones that I know a lot of you love so I thought whilst this was still available and still in stock I would show it to you again um i ordered this in a size small i got it in the regular length as well and it fits me perfectly there is so much stretch for bump but like i said will also fit perfectly afterwards as well so i love that and it does come in black and like a rusty autumnal color as well which is gorgeous and then another fashion new in my wardrobe are this pair of black leather boots and I actually got these when I was doing a recent collaboration with Naked over on Instagram you may have seen me styling these up in a reel if not I will pop the reel in here so you can see um, but I got these for that collaboration and they are beautiful they are real leather they do look pretty high but actually they feel really comfortable on because they've got quite a chunky block heel um, and they're quite like they're fairly wide around the calf as well so if you do struggle with um, like knee high boots being wide enough I feel like these are quite wide in comparison to some other pairs that I've got and I got these in a size UK 5 I'm usually a UK four and a half but I decided to size up and they fit me perfectly so I, I would say if you're in between sizes I would probably recommend sizing up in these um, but yeah, I just love how black knee-high boots look styled up in autumn winter. And also, I might still have, when this video is up, if my discount code NAKED is still valid, I will pop it in the description box. I did have a 30% discount code with them. So, like I said, if it's still valid or any discount codes I have that are still valid for any of the pieces, I will leave below in the description box. Next up, another fashion favourite of sorts. And it is a pair of slippers. And I feel like this kind of signals the start of autumn winter, like a new pair of cosy, fluffy slippers. And I just love these. Again, I showed these briefly in a vlog recently, but they are gorgeous. So they've got the kind of like teddy Borg fabric here and then the sheepskin around here as well. They're super warm and toasty. Um, and just a really lovely, cosy pair of slippers that I've been loving. Obviously, I've worn these quite a bit already i tend to not wear slippers like spring summer and then as soon as autumn winter hits again i'm like oh get me some slippers on some cozy pjs and all of the cozy vibes so love those next up jewelry and i have been loving this necklace from monica vinida again i got this about a week ago but i have worn it every day since and i just think it's such a pretty necklace it is a heart locket so you can obviously pop a picture inside if you want to you could pop a lock of hair inside you could pop i don't know you could pop whatever you wanted i feel like i always say this with lockets i always think i'm going to put something in them and i never get around to it but i think with this one when baby arrives i might just pop a tiny picture inside there maybe or something like that because i feel like it's just makes it that little bit more special but i think this would make such a lovely gift as well just gorgeous and also the earrings that i'm wearing now are also new from Monica Vinida as well. I've been loving these as well. And then moving on to some beauty favourites. And first up is a foundation that I've been loving. Well, let's say a foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. 
Um, so it's called a skin tint, but it is just like a really lovely lightweight foundation. And actually when this arrived, I got sent this in a little PR package and when it arrived, I kind of just put it in my drawer to one side. I didn't, I had, I've got so many foundations and like tinted moisturizers that I've been loving recently. I wasn't that excited to try it, but I saw a TikTok and someone was raving about this and I thought, well, I've got that in my drawer. Kind of made me think, I'm gonna give that a go. Um, and I actually started using this a few days ago and it is lovely. It is so lightweight, you only need a little bit and it just glides on, like it blends out on the skin beautifully. Gives a really lovely lightweight coverage, it feels really comfortable on the skin. Um, but it just gives like that lovely glow, it's not too oily, it's not too matte, it's just really really pretty and just together with concealer, kind of bronzer and blush, it gives a really lovely base. Obviously I'm wearing it today. Um, it actually lasts really well as well. I went to take my makeup off last night and I realised, I looked in the mirror and I thought, gosh, I still look like I've done my makeup quite recently. It looked like it had lasted really well. Um, I'm wearing shade 10 and for me at the moment it's like a perfect colour match in the shade 10. And it's just, yeah, really lovely. Obviously really reasonable being Maybelline. I think, I presume it's around the £10 mark. Um, that is actually just a guess, I'm not sure, but obviously I will find it online and link it. But yeah, really, really like that. Um, and then a lip gloss I've been loving. This is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss in the shade In The Buff. And I have also got this on today as well. And it's just a really pretty nude. Let me just pop it on the back of my hand so you can see. It's quite sheer, it's just a really pretty nude lip gloss so i tend to wear it either over lipstick and lip liner or just with a little bit of lip liner and this over the top depending on the finish i want um just to give it a little bit more pigment but it feels really comfortable on my lips it's like moisturizing it doesn't dry my lips out i think because it's kind of an oil infused gloss it's not heavy or sticky it just feels really nice um and i actually got this in a two pack and it is um it comes in a two pack and I think I'm pretty sure that 100% of the proceeds for this go to breast cancer as well which is really great so obviously I will leave it linked and you can check out the information in the description box but it comes with this colour and then like a more pinky ready gloss as well which would be lovely for autumn winter um, but yeah love that nude gloss. Um, next up is a primer that I have been loving this is from the brand Tula Skincare, and I'm pretty sure they kind of focus on, it says like probiotics and superfoods, so all of their kind of skincare and makeup is really good for your skin. This is the Filter Primer, it's a blurring and moisturising primer. And this is a new, I've only just started using this skincare brand quite recently, trying it out, um, but I've been loving this primer. It just gives a really lovely base for my makeup. It's um, let me again I'll just pop a little bit on the back of my hand but you can see it comes out just white like that and then as you rub it in it's got these little particles it does actually say on the back what it um, what does it say um, it's got complexion complexion boosting pigments so can you see where I've rubbed that in let me just get you a spot where it's not too sunny I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera if not I'll pop if it's not showing up I'll pop a cutaway in but it just gives this really, really lovely, subtle glow to your skin. So it's not like a heavy kind of tinted moisturizer look. It's just a really lovely sheer glow and just gives your skin a little bit, a little bit of a glow, really lovely and hydrating and a really nice base for your makeup as well. It just feels really nice to apply and yeah, just makes your skin look really lovely before you put makeup on. So even if you're having a no makeup day, and you just want a tiny bit of a natural glow. This is really lovely and it comes, I think it comes in two or three shades, but this is shade Sunrise for medium skin tones. And then my final beauty favorite that I have been loving this month is one that I have mentioned in at least, I'd say at least two other previous favorite videos in the past, maybe three. I feel like it's like, it gets to this time every year and this becomes a favourite again and I can't not mention it because this is like an all time favourite but getting into autumn I look forward to using this perfume again and this is Jo Malone Myrrh and Tonka and this is just gorgeous. This will forever be 
my favourite or one of my favourite autumn winter fragrances. It is just lovely. It's just, you've got the sweetness of the vanilla from the Tonka bean, is it? Vanilla Tonka bean? Um, but also like the richness and the slightly masculine of the myrrh. It just smells beautiful and I have loved this for years and like I said I look forward to using this again in autumn as the weather gets a little bit cool. Like I tend to not go for this in spring summer because for me it's quite a deep autumn winter fragrance but it's gorgeous. Really recommend trying this if you go past the Jo Malone store. Give it a little smell because it is beautiful. Um, and that is everything that I've been loving this past month. Oh, I did actually just want to mention a TV favourite. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a lot of us watched Hijack on Apple TV. I feel like it was like this kind of craze going around. Everyone started talking about it on Instagram and then you felt like you really needed to watch it. So I don't know about you, but I ended up, we ended up getting Apple TV so that we could watch Hijack. So because we then had Apple TV, I was like, oh, what else is good on Apple TV to watch? By the way, Hijack is really good. Um, but I was kind of like looking through what else, was good, what else was good to watch. And we started watching a series called Blackbird. Well, I say we started, we finished it now, um, but we really enjoyed it. Really, really good. So if you also have Apple TV or if you started it because you watched Hijack, um, then I do recommend giving Blackbird a watch. It is kind of about, it's basically about a man who goes to prison for like drug things um, and they kind of say to him look if you can get some information on this serial killer or suspected serial killer then and get him to kind of confess to his crimes and tell you where the bodies are then you can get you can come out of prison you don't like he basically gets 10 years and they say if you do that then you can come out free so he gets moved to this prison where all of these kind of high um, like the worst crime people are <laughs> Not describing that very well, am I? But you know what I mean, where the people are in this prison, like the highest security prison for all of the worst crimes committed. And he kind of buddies up with this guy. And it, yeah, it's just very interesting. I won't give too much information away, but we really enjoyed it. And it's based on a true story as well, which is always my favourite. Because I always, whenever I'm watching it, I'm always thinking, oh, I wonder if this bit actually did happen or if this bit did. I just love anything based on a true story. So... We really enjoyed that, um, but that is everything that I've been loving throughout uh, September. Yeah, September. Blimey, where has this summer gone? Where has this year gone? Um, yeah, that's everything I've been loving through September. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, everything featured will be linked below. Um, if you did, do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.